number eleven. So I'm gonna have a lot of friends and family out tonight. Thank y'all for coming out. <laughs> First time in a comedy club, imagine that. So I've been performing at hotel ballrooms, strip clubs, church basements, rec centers. <laughs> and after this, I'm going to a place called Ease Lounge. And if you didn't know, lounge is actually French, but ooh, what does that smell? <laughs> so if you want to see me later. <laughs> actually, this is the first place I've performed in that actually I think has a health rating. So the nacho <laughs> white friends and family are here. Hey, my white people. Um, if you do not have a white people in your life, you should get them. I know <laughs> white people have them, but um, what's so great about white people and why I love them so much? Because um, you know you watch stuff on TV growing up as a black kid and you're like, this would never happen. This is so great. You have white people in your life, they really do go horseback riding. <laughs> Black people do that too. I just don't know none of them. <laughs> but I've heard it happen. <laughs> There's not really a lot of difference between black people and white people. The only thing, and I've been studying it for a long time, and I know a lot of black people, I'm related to a few, and the only real difference between black people and white people is how we kill each other. Okay? Mostly how we kill strangers. Okay, black people. Y'all know we're not going to commit. We're going to drive by, shoot you, we done, right? <laughs> we ain't doing that much about that. White people, they going to stalk you, they going to kidnap you, they going to build a tent city in the back door, and they going to marry you, and they're 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 going to Chinese women astronauts. <laughs> I heard somebody say it. Somebody say it. Well, anyway, speaking of it, I saw that China is going to send the first woman into space next year. And the perfect candidate was a married mother because they didn't want to mess with her fertility. And I thought that was very, very ironic because y'all remember the last famous mother astronaut with NASA, right? She wore a kid's diaper to drive to Florida to pop a girl with a BB gun. And you're thinking, this is a rocket scientist that came up with this plan that I don't wear a diaper so I don't have to stop. But she didn't think she had to stop for gas. Right? So if she was really crazy, I understand, because it's like, okay, if I made it from Earth to the moon on one tank, should I get a chance to go? TV, so I'm really excited to be out of the house. It's totally past my bad time. But when I get into TV, I watch marathons. Y'all get into those Lord and Order marathons? Okay, let me tell you. Because I have no life. They really do not mean for you to watch those episodes back to back to back to back to back. To back. Because they recycle actors. Y'all ever notice that? So if you watch early in the morning, that actor might be just a body in the morgue, right? You barely notice them. A few episodes later, they're like the victim's parents. Right? <laughs> you still sitting there watching? Now, they perpetrate. <laughs> you have episodes from around 7 or 8 o'clock at night, they're working in the DA's office. Because <laughs> y'all know I ain't seen it. I start out and go to the table. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then I have to. I watch the news a lot. It was breaking news uh, that Ricky Martin is gay. <laughs> Like eight years of Spanish, and I always thought menudo meant gay little boys dancing around on Saturday morning. <laughs> That's not a John Mayer, another musician, was in the news not too long ago. He did a big Playboy article and got a lot of flag. I don't know if y'all saw it. I don't know if y'all read the articles. Um, but it was on the news, so that's why I know. But anyway, he was talking about Jessica Simpson and how great sex was with her. And then I guess where I should have been offended, he said that he thought black women were beautiful but that his penis is a white supremacist. Everybody got, oh, I know. They was upset. And I thought, well, why should I be upset as a black woman? I figured he was just saying that he was uncircumcised and they got a little hood on or something. <laughs> I really love 
love commercials because, you know, they really don't expect you to pay attention. They think you're either changing the channel or fast forward if you keep going. So they got a new Fred Flintstone vitamin commercial. And I don't have kids, and I'm just so happy to hear what they said in the latest batch of this new vitamin. It says, contains the same ingredient as breast milk. Where did they get that from? Like, if you only find it in breast milk, oh, y'all down with that. Because they serve and protect. <laughs> well, that's my topic. 